Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install the best game and server hosting management panel. Of course, it is the Petero Ductile panel with a script because it saves you a lot of time and effort to just use a script instead of installing it by yourself. To install the Petero Ductile panel, you of course need a VPS and if you don't have a VPS, go ahead and create one for free on AWS. You can do that by watching the video in the info card. And if you have a VPS, just connect to it, just like I am doing here on the Mobile XTerm app. Once you're connected to your VPS via SSH, you can start. And the first thing you have to do is go to the link in my video description. And this is the GitHub repository of the Petero Ductile installer, which we're gonna use for this video. Um, and yeah, as you can see here, when you scroll down a little bit, here are all the supported operating systems. You probably have one of these installed on your server. And yeah, under these operating systems and requirements, you can see the installation script copy this command and before you paste it into your service console type in sudo space dash s and press enter to get root permissions now just copy and paste this into your console and as you can see here we are getting asked what we would like to do and of course we want to install the ptro ductile panel and the wings so not only the user interface which is the panel but also the wings to run servers and to do that type 2 and press enter okay so now we have to press enter leave this by default also leave this by default and for the password you have to create a password and write it down or save it somewhere you definitely need this later so if these stars are here you can press enter select your time zone mine is correct so i'm just gonna press enter here then provide your email address by the way copy it because we will have to paste it in the next step again so enter copy and paste your email address into the console for the initial admin account enter yeah then choose any username you want type in your first name and your last name and press enter yeah, again use any password for your admin account this is the account you will have to log in so definitely save this password also once you've entered your password press enter again now you need to enter your domain and if you don't have a domain watch the video in the info card because i got you covered with a free domain from freedom and for this tutorial i'm actually gonna use a free domain from freedom and yeah, as you can see here, I'm of course using Cloudflare as a DNS management tool. And here, just add a new A record. A, a record is basically a subdomain. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to take panel and point it to the IP address of your server. It's also important if you use Cloudflare to disable the proxy status and of course save it to edit. Okay, so once you've created your subdomain, enter your subdomain dot domain dot domain ending. Here for me, it is panel dot tutorial dash corner dot ml. Of course, for you, it's any other domain, the one you've choos chosen, of course. So yeah, once you've done that, press enter. Now we need to type yes four times. So press Y, enter, Y, enter. Then again, Y, enter, agree to this HTTPS request. This was successful for me. The DNS is verified. If it's not, check your DNS settings in Cloudflare. So check if you have used the correct IP address, if you have added the right A record. And yeah, again, we have to enter Y. And now it's gonna take two to four minutes to install everything. Now all the requirements and the panel itself are getting installed. So see you later in two to three minutes. Okay, so four minutes later, and as you can see here, we have to agree to the terms of service of Let's Encrypt. Yeah, so just wait a few minutes, and once you're here, just type A like I'm doing and press Enter. Now it's obtaining a new certificate. I hope this is working. And perfect, once you're here, don't type yes now because you can see here that our panel installation was successful and is completed. So yeah, if we go to panel.tutorial-corner.ml, we should be able to log in let's test it real quick okay perfect it is working if it's not working for you comment down below comment your errors and i will definitely help you yeah i'm just gonna log in and as you can see here we are logged in to our petro ductile panel but of course we need the wings to create servers and host them so let's go back to the console and yeah enter y here Okay, so here, these are the same credentials as mentioned in the start. So press enter here and for your host password, use the password you've used in the start, in the beginning of this video, where I said you, you should write it down or save it somewhere. Yeah, so paste it in and press enter. Okay, so now yes again and yes again. 
And now we need to enter the domain name for our node. To do that, again, go to Cloudflare, add a new A record. This time I will use node, but you can, of course, use anything you want. And also enter the same IP address as you've entered in the panel. And yeah, save it. And now enter the domain you've just added. So node.tutorial-corner.ml. Okay, now we have to press Y and enter again. And our DNS is verified. Perfect. This is, I think, the last time we have to enter our email. So let's do that and enter. And of course, we want to proceed with the installation. Press Y and enter again. Now you have to wait two to three minutes to install the files for the wings. So see you later. Okay, two minutes later, as you can see here, the Wings installation is completed. If you get any errors, comment down below and I will help you again. Uh, before you can do sudo Wings, yeah, if, you, if we do sudo Wings, let's just do that, we will definitely get an error um, because we have to configure our Wings first. Yeah, as you can see here, not a bug with the software, it definitely isn't. So go to your panel where you're logged in. Go to the admin settings in the top right and here go to locations and create a new location. You can name it whatever you want. After you've done that, create a new node by going to nodes, create new. Now type any name you want. I'm just going to go for yeah, test. Um, for the fully qualified domain name, type node.tutorial-corner.ml. For you, it's of course any other domain. It's just the domain you've used for your node. Enter any memory and disk space, whatever you want. Yeah, once you've done that, you can click on create node. Okay, perfect. We have successfully created our node. By the way, if you get an error, you have done something wrong with the password for the database. But if not, and you're getting this very nice blue message, you can go to the configuration. And here you can use auto deploy to generate a new token. This is just a bit easier and doesn't take so much time. So let's copy this command here, copy all of this command here, press OK and enter this command. You can see here, this was successful. And when you go to nodes, it is still red because we haven't started our node. To verify that our node is working correctly, type sudo wings. And as you can see here, Perfect, it is working. So if it's also working for you, type system CTL start and then wings to start the wings. And as you can see here, it is green, perfect. Before you can go ahead and create servers here, you have to add allocations. So go to your node, go to allocation, enter your IP address. If you don't know what your IP address is, simply enter this command into the console and you can see your IP address here. Enter this for the alias, I'm just gonna enter nothing. And now let's go for the port 2000 to 2100. Okay, now we have created 100 ports and we can add servers. Just go to create new. Um, yeah, select the server owner. This is just pretty easy, basic stuff. Type in any resources you want. Um, yeah, select a nest. I'm just gonna go for voice servers. Teams, Teams 3 server and create a server. As you can see here, it is working and installing perfectly. I love this panel so much. And if you want to install the best Pichero Ductile add-on to enable user registration, payment, server creation, and much more, watch this video next.